Okay, so for people at home, we're still on section 2-3, and we're moving on to question number 25. So, oh, also, and I, I've told you guys this, I just want to make sure we're all on the same page here. If anybody looked at Power School, it says this section is due tomorrow, I think it is, or maybe Thursday. It's, I take late work anyhow. I don't want people to fall behind, but I, I do take late work. And when I make these assignments up, I look at it and I generally have an idea. I think, I say, well, we'll probably do on this day. It's, it's not going to be due either Wednesday or Thursday or whatever. It'll probably do Friday or something like that. So I, I can create the assignment. When I create it, I have to put in a, a beginning date and an end date, and, but I can change them, okay? So uh, you know, don't, don't freak out and think, oh, my gosh, this is all due to tomorrow. It's not, okay? So what we'll probably do is I want to try to get through uh, some more of them today and maybe a few more of them on Thursday, then probably have a work day Friday and have it due Friday is what I'm guessing it will be. Okay, so let's look at number 20. Oops, let's make this so the people can see it at home. Okay, so let's look at exercise number 25. Now, the first thing we're supposed to do is read the question. The second thing we're supposed to do is draw a picture. Well, we don't have to draw a picture, okay? It's already there, okay? So I, I am gonna draw the picture for people in the back. They can't necessarily see it. So, and I'm not gonna put the notes up on the board. Hopefully you took notes yesterday. Okay, and you can refer back to them. So they give us this right here, and they give us a directrix of y equals negative eight. Okay, and they ask us for the equation of this problem. Okay, so, uh, and it looks like the vertex is zero, zero, and I hate this because I tell students all the time, just because something looks a certain way, doesn't make it so. I mean, it looks like it's zero, zero. I mean, are we certain that it's zero, zero? Yeah. No, but, it's got to be or we can't do the problem, okay? So we're making the assumption. Even though I tell you not to do that, we have to do that. We're assuming that the vertex is, they really should say vertex and then put zero, zero there. Okay, so, all right, so is this going to be a y equals ax squared or is it going to be an x equals ay squared? Y equals ay squared. Right, I mean, just think about it. As soon as you say the letter y, y refers to up and down. The y-axis runs up and down. When they say x, that refers to back and forth. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what do you mean by that? Like the x and the right. Uh, you're going to be confused for a little while, yeah. and that's okay. All right. Um, copy stuff down. Hang with us. Get, get what you can. And I, I assume I'll probably be finishing up about 10 minutes before class is done. Okay. Then I'll sit down with you. Okay. And it's going to be, again, I don't want to scare you. You're going to be like, what the heck is he talking about? But you'll, you'll get it. It's not that bad. Even Hop will figure it out. So. Okay, yes ma'am. Yes, yes. Yep. Okay. You did watch a video and that didn't help that much? No? Uh, okay. I didn't watch all of it. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, so yeah, well, yeah, I can I can definitely do that. Okay, so uh, it's gonna be y equals something x squared. Okay? And we should know something about a. It's gotta be positive, it's going up. But positive what? We don't know what it is. We gotta find out what a is. And we learned yesterday there's a formula. A is 1 over 4p. A is 1 over 4p. Okay, this is how you calculate what A is. We know A is positive, but we don't know positive what. So, p, in case we forgot, is the distance from the vertex to the focus, which they didn't give us, or the vertex to the directrix, which they, which they did give us. Okay, and they didn't ask us for the focus, or do they? No, they don't. But we, we should be able to figure it out. If the directrix is eight units down, the vertex has to be so zero eight. I mean, you don't have to put that down there, but but you should be able to figure it out. Okay, zero eight. So p is either eight from here or eight from here. It doesn't matter. So one over four times eight, which is one over thirty-two. And then there's only one more thing to do. Plug it in. Y equals one thirty-second x squared. Okay. And you do need to type in all of that because it doesn't say y equals box. It just You have to type in the entire thing on this one. Don't just put in 1 32nd x squared. You need to type in y equals 1 32nd x squared. Let's look at 27. And again, I'm not making fun here, okay? But I just want to point out, for the most part, we really only did one thing there. We basically, and I'm not saying this is a fourth grade problem, but we, we kind of did only one thing here. You know what it was? Four times eight, that's all we really did, okay? Once you understand this, you know, it's, it's really not that bad, but it, it is definitely confusing at first, okay? So let's look at 27. They give you a picture. Vertex, again, we're assuming is zero, zero. It's sideboard. 
Side words, yep. Okay. Like that. And we have x equals 5 halves in our directions. X equals 5 halves. All right, so is this also going to be a y equals? No. no. It's going left. Left and right is x. So your equation is going to be of the form x equals something y squared something. And what do we know about that something? Is it positive this time also? No. Why? Because it goes left. Let's go to left. Left is negative. Okay, up and right are positive. Down and left are negative. So it's going to be negative something. Negative something, okay? All right, so we use that formula again. We're going to use this formula. Ladies that were gone yesterday, we're going to use that formula on virt virtually every single problem, okay? A equals 1 over 4P. Okay? I don't know what A is other than it's, it's negative something, okay? But I do know what P is. P is the distance from here to the directrix, or it's also the distance from here to the focus. They don't give us the focus, but the focus would be the point if we went five halves to the left here, we'd go five halves to the right, I'm sorry, this is right. Five halves to the right here, this would be five halves to the left here, it would be the point negative five halves, zero. Again, you don't need to know that, but you should be able to figure it out. So either way, the distance is five halves. So it's one over four times five halves, okay? Now off to the side here. What is four times five halves? Don't do this. Don't do this, okay? Before I even start this, if you multiply by one, nothing happens, okay? If you multiply by four, does the number change? Mm -hmm. Yes, it does, okay? Keep that in mind. I still see students, they'll say, well, four times five halves is 20 over eight. They times the top by four and the bottom by four. If you times the top by four and the bottom by four, you're not doing anything. Here's why. This simplifies. You know what goes into 20 and 8? 4 does. 5 times and 2 times. You're back where you started. Go so times the top and the bottom. Take 5 divided by 2 and multiply by You could do that. You could definitely do that. Or what do we do? Times 2 by 1 because 4 and 2 by right. 1. Make it a fraction. So times the top by 4. And you said times the bottom by 1. Or just do what to the bottom? Nothing. Leave just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. So either way, you're right. Either way, you guys are all right. Okay, if you want to make it a decimal, go ahead. I don't care. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to have 20 over 2, which is 10. So we have 1 over 10. Okay? We did 4 times 5 halves under a 1. So x equals 1 tenth y squared. Question on that? It's wrong, by the way. Why? One word. Why? Because it's going to the left. There you go. Oh. <laughs> going to the left. Okay, it's going to the left. So P tells you the amount, but it doesn't necessarily tell you the direction. Okay? Now, so we get number 29. And again, the good news is we're basically doing the same problem over and over and over, okay? The only difference in number 29? There's no picture. There's no picture on number 29. Okay, so we're going to draw a picture. Focus is 3, 0. So F equals 3, 0. And what? Oh, X equals negative 3. Yeah. Right. So our focus is 3, 0. And the directrix, for ladies that were gone yesterday, okay, the focus is, a, is the point inside of the parabola. It's inside the parabola. The directrix is a line outside of the parabola, okay? And the distance from the vertex to the focus and the vertex to the directrix is always the same. It's always the same, okay? And so the first thing we do after we uh, read the problem is we draw a picture. 3, 0 is 3 to the right, and the focus is a point. Let's put a dot right there. Then the directrix is x equals negative 3. Well, where is x negative 3? To the left 3. Do I put a, oh, not down 3. It's x, x, yep. And the directrix is a line. And do we draw the line on the axis or across it? Across. across. And what we said yesterday was this. I think it's really cool because with very little information, we can have a general idea what this graph looks like. 
this parabola has to open how? Up, down, left, right. right. And the reason is, there's no way it can open up because, and this is important, the parabola always goes away from the directrix. Is this parabola going away from the directrix? Here it is, but here it's going towards it. it and it's going to hit it. And it opens down, same thing. It's going away from it, but here it's going towards it. It can't be going to the right or to the left, so it's definitely going to hit it. Okay? So it's got to be going to the right. Okay? Uh, yeah, that's a bad drawing, but we're okay. We just had them. We're not judging uh, artistic abilities here. But yeah, that's the, the better you draw them, the easier it is for you to see them. So is this going to be y equals or x equals? x equals. Whenever they open right or left, it's always, I mean, just think x is right and left. y is up and down. The y-axis runs up and down, the x-axis runs back and forth. And again, we know it, we know a is some sort of positive number, positive something, okay, because it's going to the right. If it went to the left, it would be a negative number. It's a positive something. So we use that formula again. A is 1 over 4p. We're trying to find out what a is, but we do know what p is. p is either 3 to the right or 3 to the left. It doesn't matter. It's 3 either way. So 1 over 4 times 3. So 112. So 112 y squared. Do I make it negative? Yeah. No. Or yes and no. We did last time. No. Why? Because it's to the right. Okay? Just leave it alone. You're done. If it was to the left, then you'd make it negative. Wait. Yes, sir. Because Which one now? Yes, 25? Yeah, because 25 is going. Up and down is y. Right. Yeah, left and right is x. It's going up and down, it's y. 25, we went up and down. Right. Did I put x equals? You put y equals. Yeah, but then we x squared. I wrote y equals ax squared, didn't I? Yeah, that's because. So, how do you know, how do you know when the x squared and when the well, if it, I'll tell you, you're, we're going to start number 31, and I'm gonna, you're going to answer that, okay? Mom, number 31, well, I'm gonna, let me draw a picture first. Let's draw a picture. And what do we have here? Okay, the focus is 2 thirds 0. No, that was 31. We're on 31, right? Yeah. Wrong one, okay. X, directrix is x equals negative 10. X is negative 10, and the vertex 0 is 0. Vertex is zero, 0, Okay, so vertex is 0, 0. And where is x negative 10? To the left. To the left 10. Yeah. And then do I put a dot there? No. I put a line. Yeah. On it or across it? Across. across. Now, be careful here. I think this is the first one we've done like this today. Okay. Well, this parabola, is it going to open up or down or to left or right? To the right. Now, is it going to look like this? I'm going to draw a play there. Is it going to look like that? No. What's wrong with that? Should this be in it? No. No, that's the vertex. What's in the cup? The, the focus. Is that the focus? No. It's the vertex. The vertex isn't in the cup. It's part of the cup. The, ver the point or the focus is going to be it's 10, be 10 right? to the right. Yes, it is. Yeah. Which is what? The focus is a point, so it's what, what? No, okay. 10 zero. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, they don't ask us that, do they, or not? They didn't. But we can put it 10 zero. That's our focus. Okay. It's good. I, I would figure it out. I mean, you're going to have to do that on some problems, okay? So it takes two seconds. Okay. So, Iobi, is this going to be y equals ax squared or x equals ay squared? The open side word here, ay. Say it again. How come? It opens what? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I've been saying it a different way, though. He's been saying it even different in a way. It opens sidewards? Okay. 
Whenever it opens to the side, it's always X. I mean, think about it. Back in middle school, when you learned how to graph things, okay? Yeah, I know. Up that. and down was Y, X, left and right. Confused on the left side, so what? It just doesn't. Well, okay. It, we're talking right and left, so it's going to be X. It's going to be X equals something Y squared. Every one of these is going to be Y equals something X squared, or X equals something Y squared. So it's just the other Right. Yeah. Okay. All right, so, and we know that A is a positive number because it's opening to the right, okay? It's positive something. Again, A equals 1 over 4P. P in this case is 10 because it's 10 units this way or 10 units away from that. So 1 over 4 times 10, which is 1 over 40. Can we negativize it? No, no, it's 1 to the right. So it's just X is 1 40th Y squared. Which, going back to the first chapter, that would have been a super fat graph. Yes, ma'am? So, when we don't know what A is, that's when we That's the formula, the yep. Okay. And there will be some times where we do know what A is, but we've got to find out what P is. So, just basically, and again, what A is, what, what we learned yesterday was this. What a, what a parabola is, and what we said yesterday was, um, you know, they think oh, it's U-shaped. And it's not wrong to say U-shaped. But what we said was, it's the set of all points. If I was to draw a line that's called our directrix and a point, which is called our focus, it's the set of all points that are the same distance from the focus as they are the directrix. Like, for example, if this is a road and this is a person, but this is Frank, okay? And this is D drive south. If you're standing right here, are you closer to Frank or are you closer to D drive south? It's supposed to be the same. I mean, off the world comes bad draw, okay? If I went like this, are you closer to Frank or are you closer to D drive south? It's supposed to be the same, okay? If I went like this, this distance and this distance are the same. If I connected these, this distance and this distance. Like that's what a parabola is, okay? The focus is a point inside the cup. We call it a cup, parabola, U-shape, whatever. The directrix is always outside the cup, okay? And the vertex is always the low point or the high point of the graph, okay? All right. And if you got that, great. If not, I'd watch the video. Because I, I did that on the video, and we probably spent 10 minutes on it. I just spent like two minutes on it, so I did a better job yesterday. Okay, next one, that was 31. Let's look at 33. How many questions are on this one? This entire assignment? I don't think there's too many more. I think it goes like to 45 or something like that. Let me check. There's 32 questions? Okay. 46. Okay, 33. Well, but I skip some every now here and there. 33, okay, so we have a focus of zero. Now, if you're going, oh, I don't like fractions, it's all right. I hate that. It's, it's really okay. Zero, negative five-thirds. That's not hard to do. You know what you do? You go down five-thirds. You're wondering, well, I'm not sure where that's at. You know where negative five-thirds is? There. Right there. What if you go, well, I actually put it down there. I don't care. Put it anywhere you want, okay? As long as it's down somewhere, okay? Negative five-thirds, and we put a point there. And then five thirds, and I will say this, and this is for ladies that were gone yesterday mainly, but for everybody also, okay? Well, if you're wondering, well, where is five thirds at? I'm not sure. You go up five thirds, it's positive five thirds, okay? If you're wondering where that's at, it could be anywhere, but to make it easier for you, I say you put it anywhere. You think I should put it right here? No. How about right here? No. How about, about there? That's about right Why? Right this distance and this distance. That was pretty good, though. All right, I got that. All right. <laughs> so y equals five thirds. Okay, this distance and this. Di am, am I going to mark you wrong if I put it up here? Yeah. No, but it's just easier if you put them the same distance because they're, they're supposed to be the same, and they're not the same, but they're pretty darn close. Question, Hope. Yeah, I was just confused. So the, the what did you say? The x 
directrix? It's the, the same distance. Yep, the, the distance from the, the directrix to the vertex mm -hmm. and the vertex to the focus. I'm sorry, yeah, the vertex to the focus. So it's just Let's a see. line that we... It's a line, yep, okay. yep. Now if it would have said x equals 5 thirds, x is 5 thirds, mm -hmm. to the right 5 thirds, it would have been a vertical line. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so this one has to open down because two reasons. This focus has to be inside the cup, and this has to be outside of the cup. Okay, so it's got to open down. So this one's going to be a y equals ax squared, because it's opening down. Up and down is y equals. Okay, we got to find out what a is again. So again, a is 1 over 4p. In this case, we know what p is. P is 5 thirds. So 1 over 4 times 5 thirds, which is 1 over, okay, 4 times 5. Yes, ma'am. I was hoping to trick one by here. Yes, I didn't say that yet. I was going to try to slide this right by and then see if I caught it. But you just ruined the surprise. So. I know we didn't have to get the negative. Huh? Not yet. I usually, at this, what I do, though, is this. I'm just giving you a hard time, by the way. Okay? Yes. But, yeah, usually I say, is it, is it positive or negative? And, yes, you're right. It's negative. I was going to try to see if, I could, if anybody was going to think you caught it. Well, very good. Good for you. That's not sarcasm. Okay, so it's going to be negative something. Negative something, okay? Well, we don't put that until the end. You can put it right now. It, it, just make sure you put it. At the very end, it better have a negative. I don't care when you put it in there, okay? I usually say it, and then at the very end, I just, I just put it in there. I say it so I don't forget to do it. Okay? As long as you remember to do it, it doesn't matter. So 4 times 5 thirds is 20 thirds. Now, they might take this on the computer, and if it was a written test, I, I probably should take a point off. That simplifies, okay? I want to show you something real quick here. If I gave you 1 over 9 tenths, 1 over 9 tenths, that simplifies. That's, and we're going to show you the real simple way of doing this. Just watch for a second here, okay? That's the same as 1 divided by 9 tenths. And that's the same as, remember how to divide fractions? What do you do with the first thing? Leave it times what? 10 ninths. And what's 1 times 10 ninths? 10 ninths. 1 over 9 tenths is the same as 10 ninths. If I gave you 1 over 7 eighths, that's the same as 1 divided by 7 eighths, which is the same as 1 times 8 sevenths, which is just 8 sevenths. So you guys see a quicker way of doing it in your head? What's 1 just over a fraction? Over. What? It just makes it flip over. Makes it flip over. 1 over a fraction is just the fraction flipped. Can you get to the one? So what's 1 over 20 thirds? 320. Okay. Will the computer take this answer? I don't know. Okay. If I was being a stickler, I, I wouldn't take it. I'd take a point off. So our answer is y equals 3 20ths x squared. Very good. I'm waiting for you to say it. Okay. Let's try a few more. Thirty-three. Okay, now I'm at thirty-five. Okay, so they give us the focus of zero six sevenths, and I would really, oops, really encourage. Don't just put zero six sevenths. Okay. I would actually label it F. Okay. The reason why do I label it F? the focus. If it was the vertex, I would have labeled it V. Because if I just put a point there, is it the focus of the direct, or the vertex? You, you don't know. Nobody knows. Okay. Nobody knows. Okay? And vertex is zero, zero. So far. It's not going to be real soon, though. Okay? Real soon, it's not going to be zero, zero. So I plot these. Vertex is zero, zero. Now, this is, again, this is for everybody, but mainly for the ladies who were gone yesterday. Uh, focus is zero, six, sevenths. Where is zero six sevenths? Who knows? Up, down, left, or right six sevenths. But where? Up, down, left, or right? right. Carefully, you go left and right first. Up, up and down. No. Then up or down. So up six sevenths. Now, do I put a line through six sevenths? No, no, no. 
The focus God. is a dot. You put the line to the negative six sevenths. Right. Where's that at? Down, down. down six sevenths. Okay. And you don't have to do that. I mean, if you want to, you can. It's not necessary. This problem's got to open how? Uh, uh, up. Yeah, you like that. Okay. So, y equals or x equals? Uh, y equals ax squared. How come y? It's opening up. Why? They have to open up in order to be y? Yeah. No, they, they could. They could open down. Okay. All right. And A in this case is a positive. Okay. <coughs> it's a positive, so it's opening up. I'm saying that right now because some are doing it for us all. I mean, if I didn't, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. okay. So positive something. A equals 1 over 4P. It's about the 28th time today. P in this case is 6 sevenths. So 1 over 4 times 6 sevenths, 1 over 4 times 6 sevenths is 24 sevenths, and what's 1 over, tw what's that? I don't understand what you just said. It just multiplies four times six. the top two, and then the bottom okay. one stays the same. 4 is the same as 4 over 1. So it's just going to be 7 times 4. So times 4 times 6, and 1 times 7. Okay. What did you say? It's going to be 7. Yeah, what's 1 over a fraction? The fraction. The fraction flips, flips are right on over. Flips are right on over. So y equals 7 24th x squared. Negativize it? No. No. It's going up. Oops, sorry. Okay, 37. What did I say this goes to? Just 46 or something like that? I don't have that many left. Good. We're going to do uh, probably two more. Is that what I want? Probably two more. That's a good number. 37. And then we get to just kind of test. Well, I would click on the answers. <laughs> if it was me, I would at least do a few of these questions while they're fresh in your mind. Okay, so they give us a picture. And again, we're going to assume what it looks like is the case, okay? So how does this one look different? People in the back might not be able to tell, but how does this one look different? It's not on the vertex is not zero. zero. Vertex ain't zero, zero. The vertex appears to be. Be careful here. The compass is huge. The compass is huge. So we're hard. 10, 8, 0, 6, 4. Oh, it's like this. That's hard to see. Okay. So in this case, the vertex is the compass is huge. Negative 2, negative 4. Okay. So let's draw this here. You guys can see it. I can barely see it right up front there. Wait, did you say the vertex was zero? The vertex is zero, uh, negative four, zero. And the focus is at eight. Two, four, six, eight. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's too bent for me. And that's the focus. Is it negative eight? Okay, we're going to take this one slow. Okay, so let's draw this picture here. Negative four and negative eight. Negative four. Yep. Okay. Negative four is the vertex. Negative. Well, negative zero. Negative four zero. Gosh, I wish they wouldn't have started this one. This one's gonna be a little tricky. Okay. We're gonna. Once you copy this down, just wait for it. We're gonna. I'm gonna do a couple of quick examples real quick, and then we're gonna go back to this. I wish they would have started with one that opened up and down. If I give you this right here, this is from chapter one got to be able to have these guys. What's the vertex of that? What, positive what? three, zero. Positive three, what? Four. 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 Opposite? Same. And this one here is the same. Positive three, positive four. Okay? Be careful on this. And i tell you what. I don't want to give you a clue yet. I'll give you a clue in a second. Be careful on this. Think about it for a second. This is a little tricky, okay? It's very simple, but it's also very tricky, okay? What do you think the vertex is on that one? Any guesses? Not 9-8. I was, was anticipating people would say 9-8. It's not 9-8. What is the B in 9-8? Uh, not 8, negative 9. You're getting kind of closer. 
I'll give you a clue. When you're naming points, it goes X, Y. So X is Oh, so it's H. No, it's negative. No. Oh, so it said split. So it's negative nine. Mm -mm. What? Here, I already said that. Let me ask you this. Negative eight, nine. What does this plus four, uh, we're looking at the top one here. This oh, is no, the, what does this plus four do? What does this plus four do to the graph? What does this plus four do? Up four. What does this plus eight do? Doesn't move it up. What? It moves right. Everything's backwards. We flip flop these things. This moves it up. I'm sorry, now you got me saying it. Right nine, and this moves it. No, no, it's with the Y. Down nine. It's still opposite, same. So you guys wanted to say 9, 8. Everything's backwards. It's not 9, 8. But that's not what that Everything's backwards. 8, 9. Hey, we never said that. It's not Sorry, I didn't hear you. It's not what it matters. Huh? It doesn't matter. Everything's backwards. This moves it. I've been saying for a month and a half. This moves it left and right, opposite, opposite what you think. Now that we flip-flop things, this doesn't move it left, right, opposite of what you think. It moves it up, down, opposite what you think. And I was saying this moves it up and down what you think. This moves it right. left and right what you think. Okay? So it's not 9-8. It's 8-9. Wait, what are you doing with this Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Here's what we're doing with it, okay? So is this going to be first up? We're going to use it on this one right here, okay? What? Is this going to be y equals ax squared or x no. equals a, a y squared? X equals, x equals a y squared. Jot that down. But again, we've moved this thing, so we're going to add or subtract somewhere, okay? Somewhere. we got to find out what A is. A is 1 over 4P. What is P? Uh, uh, it's 8. I just want a positive answer. 4. Why is it 4? It's four from eight. It's four units. It's not eight units. It's eight from zero, zero, but the vertex is eight, zero, zero. So one over four times four, which is one sixteenth. We're not done. Negative or positive? Negative. Okay. To the left, negative one sixteenth. We're still not done because they did one more thing. We took this parabola that normally has every other problem that we've done so far always has a vertex of zero, zero. What do they do with this parabola in everyday language? They took this parabola that normally is zero, zero, and they moved it how much where? Four to the left. Four to the left. Everything's backwards. Four to the left. Four to the left, okay? So, are we going to put it with the Y or off by itself? Y is what directions? Up and down. So we're going to put it with the Y or off by itself? And it's opposite same. So what goes out here? Minus 4. Opposite same. Up until this problem, you always thought those minus 4s moved it how? Up and down. In this case, down. But now everything's backwards. So this number doesn't move it up and down. Left and right, what you think? So wait, where's our line going to be? Your line. So you just have to remember that. Oh, your directrix? Yeah. Because, like, it's negative. negative so then it would be four to the right. Gary! <laughs> Chill out. Okay. You asked. So if we had negative eight and then we have positive eight, it would be too far away, right? What's po what do you mean positive eight? The line. Uh, direction. Well, where would it be? Four to the right. It'd be four <laughs> yards. Four to the right. So where's that? It's in the top where? zero. Well, it's, it's a line. So it's You're just x equals zero. It'd be the line x equals zero or the y axis, same thing. What do they ask us here? They don't ask us that. Yeah, x equals zero, which is the y axis. That's fine. Okay, let's try one more. This is getting, this is where I told you. Yes, ma'am. That's the equation. All right, last one for today. Okay. Do you guys think 39 is going to look a little easier than what we just did or a little bit tougher? It goes up and down, yes. yes. Yes, it is, because we've been dealing with up and down at parabolas all year, okay? The left and right ones are a little, and, just, and again, I'm not making fun here, but you just when you see left and right, you just got to remember, and I said it several times in the last couple minutes, everything's switched. Everything's backwards, okay? 
All right, 39, last one for today. Okay, so the vertex, it looks like the vertex is, uh, where did I come out? I got my tabs. Oh, well, we're okay then. Yeah, it's going, it's four boxes to get to two, so two boxes is one. All right, so the vertex is, well, not just one, vertex is something, something. Zero, one. Okay, vertex is zero, one. Okay, and the focus is two and a half, zero, two and a half. Okay, they didn't ask us this, but where would the directrix be? Good, negative one and a half, how'd you do that? How'd you go from one to 2.5? So what do you do? If you're at one, you go down one and a half, you're at negative half. You don't need to put that down there. That's how you do it, okay? All right, so y equals ax squared or x equals ay squared? Um, y. Y is a squared. And a is a positive, positive something, okay? Because it's going up, all right? So we gotta find what a is though, positive what? One over four p, okay? What is p? Mm. Not 2.5. Somebody said it. Why? Oh. True or false? P is always the distance from the focus to 0, 0. No. It was yesterday because the vertex was always 0, 0. It's not anymore. Vertex is 0, 1. How far is 1 from 2.5? 1.5. Okay. 4 times 1.5 is 6. So one sixth, we make it negative or no? Yeah. No, it's going up. But we're not done, okay? You'll like this one how it ends. What did they do to this parabola? I mean, it wasn't zero, zero. They did what to that parabola? Moved her up one. Moved her up one. So what's the last thing we gotta do? Uh, With the x or off by itself? Okay. Plus one. That's only easier because we've been doing up and down parables the entire semester. We've done sideways ones for a couple days, okay? But it's, it's the same thing. Okay. All right, you got the rest of the time that you were. I would you know, click on the answers and then try to fill in maybe one or two questions if you can. Where's this at?